Welcome back everybody to Alberta Angling. My name is Clinton. Today I'm on Machial Lake, aka Devil's Lake, uh, near Onaway, Alberta in Fishing Zone PP2. Now I just drove on, uh, probably two seconds from the boat launch right behind me here and uh, and I've been here a couple times but never actually filmed before so I know there's a decent uh, population of northern pike here and you can actually keep a couple so game plan is to throw in a uh, tip up with some big baits and then actively jig with another rod. It's about noon right now and it's seven degrees above zero so I'm joined by about 12 other trucks on the lake on a weekday so that just shows how, how good the weather is right now. Hopefully get some underwater strikes with the Aquaview and uh, maybe we'll get some uh, northern pike on top of the ice. All right, stay tuned guys. Flag just went up, spinning a little bit. It's a pretty big bait, so if it's a little pike, it's gonna be hard to hook them up. But we'll see what we got here. Yeah, he's still there. All right. Yeah, I think I got him here. Also don't want him to get hooked in the camera. But yeah, we got our first pike. Right on. Lost our bait, but we got our first northern pike. Just a small guy. Surprised he took that big of a smelt. Here's our, uh, here's my first northern pike at uh, Devil's Lake. Hooked right in the corner there, top of the mouth, on a homemade quick strike rig. There you go. First northern pike, nothing big. Let this guy go. All right. All right, gonna let this guy go. See you later, buddy. So basically, got two trebles on my homemade quick strike, and I'm hooking one through just behind the head, right through the skin on the top, just like that. That allows for an easy hook rip out on the bait. And then on the second hook, I'm coming in on the opposite side, just behind the fin here. Maybe we'll see on the uh, on the Aqua view how how that pike hit it, but usually sometimes they'll come and they'll T-bone the bait or they'll take it in head head first. So this is a good uh, good way to hook it up and that way it also sits horizontal. All right, just got my tip up back down there and I noticed that uh, the bait dropped right in the camera's view. So I got two smelts down there in the same spot. Don't know how it's gonna affect the bite, but those are actually pretty expensive baits. So if nothing takes it, I might try to hook it up later, but we'll see how that goes. Little update for you. I uh, jigged for a little bit uh, in the deeper end. Didn't see, uh, didn't see anything. Moved a little bit shallower and didn't see anything. So I decided to uh, throw a jaw jacker in and then just have the jaw jacker and tip up going. And I just checked the aqua view footage and realized that uh, my larger smelt that was on the ground from before had been taken. So hopefully we uh, we see that footage uh, on the aqua view there. Maybe that's a sign. Um, if the pike is taking that bait off the bait, I can lower my bait down to the ground. So I'll give it a couple more minutes. If nothing happens, I might uh, try and play with the depths of where that, uh, that smelt is sitting, so. It's 
spinning like crazy right now, so I'm just gonna give him a go if he's swimming away from me. Oh yeah, it ripped out. Dang, broke off at the treble. And that means my knot wasn't that good, so. That sucks, but uh, I'll just try on a treble real quick and get back down there. We just had another flag go up. <laughs> Spinning like crazy. Another flag. I'm a little worried on uh, on the hook sets on these bigger baits, so just giving a little time for him to stop. Oh, might be running out of line here. Okay, looks like he stopped. There we go. Got him on. A little bit of a fight on him. Here's my leader. Stuck on the ice here. There we go. Got him up. Oh! Gotta be careful with these quick strike rigs. With two hooks on there, you never know. Alright, right on. Hooks out. Third. That's the second pike of the day. Missed one. Similar size to the last one. Come show you quick. There we go. That's the second. Not very big, not uh, keeper size. I believe it's 63 centimeters. I gotta double check that, but uh, there we go. That's the second pike of the day on the big smelt. Took my bait again, so that's gone, and I got one more smelt left, so. Hopefully we'll land one more, and then uh, maybe switch it up to a minnow or something like that, but we'll let this guy go. All right, see you later, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. Right on. Had a couple false flags and I knew this was going to be an issue for me. Two smaller treble hooks. I didn't have any bigger ones, unfortunately. Maybe a smaller smelt might have worked better, but uh, I think I lost three where I just, can, just couldn't hook up with them. So I'm out of bait now, so I'll give you an update once I figure out what I'm doing here. Oh, we got a jaw jacker on. We got a jaw jacker on here. First hit on the jaw jacker. Hopefully he's still on there. Right on. Oh yeah. This is just a jig and a minnow. And it's a small guy. <laughs> oh. Small guy but a fighter. Grab him now. There we go. That's the third pike of the day. Had quite a few misses on my uh, tip up. Get that hook out of there right now. There we go. Right on. There he is. Third pike. Winding down here. Uh, started packing up just a few things, but uh, ran out of bait on my tip up. So nice to get uh, another fish there. We'll let this guy go quick. All right, send him back in. There we go, gone. So, took quite a while for uh, the jaw jacker to go off, but finally did. <laughs> this one was set up in about, I don't know, five, six feet. So pretty shallow and uh, that was one strike compared to, I don't even know how many on the tip up, so. But awesome to get one more fish. Uh, we'll see if we get one more, but I'm gonna start packing everything up. Uh, sun is going down and uh, It's been great here devil's life right on Oh another jaw jacker on right on Jaw jacker on again there we go This one came right after the last one so strange how that works. Another small pike. Grab him here. There we go. Hooked in the top of the mouth like the jaw jacker should do. 
This one's similar size to the last one. Pretty small. It's so weird how that works though. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know how many strikes I got on the tip up and then one right after the other on the jigging jaw jacker when the sun starts to come down that more active presentation seems to be pulling through. So see if we can get a couple more. These, uh, maybe a couple more bigger ones, but hey, not complaining, man. All right, let them go. See you later, buddy. There he goes. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for me today here at uh, Devil's Lake. Not a bad day. Lost a bunch of fish, which is unfortunate. Uh, probably on a user air with a tip up and uh, couple of misses on the jaw jacker here but still pretty good day caught a few fish nothing huge but uh, definitely shows how many pike are in the area lots of people enjoying the day today so I'll leave the jaw jackers in as I'm packing everything up but uh, till next time thanks for tuning in to Alberta Angling again and uh, we'll see you on the next episode oh there's another jaw jacker <laughs> ended up getting one more uh, one more pike as I was uh, packing up a little damage on the side there, but uh, that's what you get for uh, leaving your jaw jackers in while you're, while you're packing up. Nice little bonus fish right here. Let him go. All right, we're letting this guy go. All packed up and everything. There he goes. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch you on the next one.